Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Folks, when you go downtown shopping or when motoring or hunting, take a flask of Horlicks malted milk tablets along with you. There's nothing like them for helping ward off fatigue or hunger. When you begin to feel tired or feel hungry, just dissolve a few of these delicious tablets in your mouth. They'll nourish you while you work, keep you going at top speed when you aren't able to eat on time. Children love Horlick's malted milk tablets. They can easily carry a supply to school with them. You can get Horlick's malted milk tablets, you know, in either natural or chocolate flavor, either in the small, conveniently carried 10-cent size class or in larger sizes. And now, let's get ready for Lum and Abner. Well, yesterday... A Mr. Carter, representing the Southwest Oil Company, arrived in Pine Ridge to negotiate for the oil well that Lum and Abner recently drilled. He seemed very much interested in buying their holdings. And as we left them last night, Mr. Carter and Lum were in conference over the matter. As we look in on our old friends today, we find Lum and Abner down at their newly completed office. Evidently, an agreement has been reached, but the deal hasn't been closed. Listen. And now, what is it that he's going to give us besides that uh, $3,000 loan? A uh, royalty. You, you mean he's going to make a king out of you? No, royalty in the oil business, Abner, means that we'll get so much on every barrel of oil they get off of that land over there. Uh-huh. We get $3,000 cash money and 10 cents on every barrel it's sold. Yeah, well, out of heap brother loan, we just sold a whole shebang for cash to start with and get out of the oil business. Well, we'll be out of it. We won't have a thing to do with it. We won't have no say-so or nothing. All we got to do is sit back and get a check from them every month or whatever is coming to us without even turning a hand. Well, now, how much are we going to get every month, though? Well, that depends on how much oil they get. Yeah. They're going to clean the well we dug out good and put casings and stuff. Put what in it? In it? Casings. Uh, you mean automobile casings? No, cars? no, no. I don't know what it is, but that's what he said. I know it ain't automobile casings, though. Yeah. Says he believes it'll run two or three thousand barrels a day then. Well, how much will that come to for us? Well, if it runs two thousand barrels a day and he says it'll do that easy, that'll be uh, two hundred dollars a day we'll make out of it. Two hundred dollars a day? That's what he says. And on top of that, they're going to drill some more wells over there. Says they're just going to drill all over that five acres. We'll get ten cents on every barrel that's pumped out of there regardless. Okay, that does sound pretty good, don't it? It sounded awful good to me. <laughs> if they drill five more wells over there, say, and they're as big as that and we got over there now, yeah. that'll be uh, $1,200 a day we'll get out of it. $1,200? $400 a piece for me and you and Grandpa. I done figure that up. For uh, the land, say. And we don't even have to be here. We can go off and vacate ourselves, go anywhere. Yeah. Just let them know where to send a check to, and here it'll come every month. <laughs> That's what I call making your brain work for you. Yeah, well, now, that's sounding better, all right. Yeah. When you said that all the cash we got out of it was $3,000, well, <laughs> I thought you'd let him give you a skinny. Skinny? <laughs> me? Yeah. Don't you ever worry about nobody giving me a skinny. I bet old Grandpapa be tickled. <laughs> he didn't much want to sign that agreement yesterday giving you full authority to sell a company. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can tell that. No, no, he didn't. But that fella Carter said that's the only way he'd do business. Yeah. He told me he's just working for the Southwest Oil Company. He don't own none of it. He don't, huh? No. He's just representing the president. That's what I ought to get, you know, somebody to represent. Oh, that's right, I ain't crazy in nothing now. No. <laughs> I'm a retard capital. Well, I don't know what I am, but I'm through working, I know that. I've hit my last tap. Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't aim to ever turn another hand long as I live. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you see that piece of paper there on the floor, Abby? Yeah. I wouldn't even put myself to the bother of bending over and picking that thing up for $10. <laughs> That's just how dependent I am. <laughs> I wouldn't pick it up for a hundred dollars. Yes, that's right. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, just a scrap of paper somewhere. Uh, no. No, that's that paper. I figure how, how much money we're going to make on Yeah, I'll oh, show yeah. that. 
see here. You want to show you. If they drill a hundred wells over there, I've got it up to a thousand, but if they drill a hundred wells over there and get 2,000 barrels out of every one of them, that's 200,000 barrels, and we get 10 cents a barrel. For the land, sir. And that cup. No, I never finished that. Oh, that's too much bother, anyhow. Have a cigar, Emma. <laughs> we can smoke these things all we want to. <laughs> yeah, hello, we can take life easy now. Just sit around and eat and sleep. Yeah. Doggy, that reminds me, too. I'm going to hire somebody to do the cooking over at the place while Elizabeth is gone. I'm just about half starved myself to death here lately, <laughs> trying to cook my own grub and, and eat it. <laughs> I ain't going to hire no cook. I'm going to start eating down the hotel. At the hotel? Yeah. Doggy, I'm just a good mind to do that with you, Long. All right, now we might start eating over at Sister Simpson's. I believe she sets a better board. Yeah, it's a good idea. I never thought about that. Evelina eats there, too. <laughs> yeah, well, now, that will be nice for you. Just sit there and eat and spark Evelina. <laughs> yeah, why didn't I think about that before? Yeah. And I believe I'll just call Sister Simpson up and tell her we'll be over there for supper. Yeah, that's the time. Just telephone her up. Tell her to have some fried chicken, hot biscuits, black-eyed peas, gravy, and Never mashed mind. potatoes. I'll fix this up. Dog it, I'm hungry. Hello? I, I could eat for all me. I Sister know Simpson? I uh, this is Lum Edwards. Yes, Mom. Uh, what are you going to have for supper tonight? As to what kind of pie she's going to have, Mom, I do love Well, pie. it is some of my business. I ain't getting inquisited. I, me and Abner are sort of thinking about coming over and eating with you tonight. Yeah, think about it. I'm coming. I'll be there. Yes, Mom. Either sure we aim to pay for it. <laughs> Spare ribs and backbone and fish, huh? Fish. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, me and Abner is coming over there to eat tonight, then. Yes, Mom. Tell her to have lots of it. And, Sister Simpson, I just wonder if you couldn't sort of put me and Abner and Evelina over to the table by ourselves. Listen, I want to get close to Evelina. Yes, Mom. One of them big tables, if you still got some of them. <laughs> Stack it high. Put sideboards on it. All right. Yes, Mom. I know. Six o'clock. Yes, Mom. All right. Goodbye. And you never asked her what she charges, Mom. I don't care what she charges. I'll get my money's worth. <laughs> Hungry as I am now. <laughs> we don't have to worry about expenses now, no way. Oh, no, no. I don't care if she charges 50 cents. I feel like celebrating. Yeah. I might take Evelina into the county seat to a picture show tonight, too. Yeah, I'll go with you. Wait till she hears about this deal. I'm yeah, somebody at the door there, Mom. Yeah. yeah, more than likely Mr. Carter's back with them papers. Yeah, yeah. Come in, come in. Well, howdy, Dick. Oh, well, come in, Dick. Yeah. I just run over and see if you'd made a deal with that fellow on your oil well yet. Well, we made a deal, Dick, but we ain't closed it yet. Oh, I made a deal with him to where none of us will ever have to do another day's work. Yeah, it sure did. I got a $3,000 in cash and a royalty of 10 cents a barrel on all the oil they get out of the ground over there. And they're going to drill 100 more wells. Well, we don't know just how many they're going to drill at. How does that sound, Dick? <laughs> well, all right, Lum. I don't know what you made a good deal. Of course, it'll depend on how much oil you get out of that well. Yeah. Well, he says he believes when they get the well cleaned out good, it'll run at least 2,000 barrels a day. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. There must be a lot of it there. You wouldn't have struck it that close to the top of the ground. Well, that's no. what I figured. Yes, sir, don't know what you made a good deal on. Huh? Uh, what's holding it up? You said you hadn't closed it yet. Oh, I've got the deed all made out to them laying right here, but I want them to sign a paper relieving us of any responsibilities in the company. Yeah. Sort of like that when Squire Skimp made a sign when he, we bought that land off of him a while back. Yeah, uh-huh. Fact is, I copied it right off of that and Squire got us to sign. You seen it, we agree to assume all the debts and obligations here to and here and after made by the Pine Ridge Oil Company and stuff like that. Uh, you mean uh, that they're going to pay for all those barrels and the drilling of the well and all that? No, thing? no, we'll have to pay for that, but uh, if anything comes up later that we don't know about now, they can't hold us responsibility to Yeah, well, that's, that's a good idea, then. That's good business. Uh, when's he going to know about it? Well, he said he'd uh, have to get authority before he could make a deal like that. I reckon he had to telephone the Southwest Oil Company about it. Yeah, I see. Well, you fellas are mighty lucky. And I'm glad for you, too. Well, thank you, Dick. I just wish you'd have been in with us on it. Love to see you get rich, too. <laughs> well, I'm sorry now I didn't go in with you when you fellas gave me a chance, Mom, but I can't blame anybody but myself. But now if this boom keeps on, well, I'm making pretty good money down there at my store now. Well, that's good. Hey, yeah, we'll do our trading down there from here out, Dick. Won't argue about the price, neither. Wait, oh. wait, wait a minute. Somebody at the door. Come in. Well, back already. Yeah, come in, Mr. Carter. Yes, I think we're all ready to close the deal now, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Carter, shake hands with Dick Huddle. 
How do you do, Mr. Hurlston? Glad to know you. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Carter. Well, you gentlemen won't talk business. I'll get on out of here. Then. No, that's all right, Dick. Deal's all made. Well, I've got to get back to the store anyway, Lum. I'll see you after a while. Huh? All right, Dick. Yeah, here, sit down, Mr. Carter. Take yeah, my chair. Thank you. You say uh, that was all right with them to sign the dream in? Yeah. Yes, no trouble at all. And uh, if you have the deed ready, I'm ready to turn the draft over to you now. Well, huh? give it time, Lum. Yeah, here's a deed all made out. That's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Now, here's the royalty contract where we agree to pay you gentlemen 10 cents on every barrel of oil produced on that particular five acres. Yeah. And here's the draft for $3,000. That's what I want to see. Now, that uh, agreement relieving us of any responsibility. Yes, here it is, all signed by the president of our company. Signed? Now, Granny, how'd you get it signed so quick? Yeah. Well, the president of our company lives right here in Pine Ridge. Why, I thought the Southwest Oil Company was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. No, no, I'm from Tulsa, but the company's here in Pine Ridge. Mr. M.K. Skimp is our president. Maybe you gentlemen know him. M.K. Skimp? Well, I'll be dead blamed. That's Squire Skimp. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? If Squire Skimp can't get a thing one way, he will another. And now, folks, let's pay a short visit to the Barker home. As we look in on the scene, we find Mrs. Barker at the telephone talking to her husband. Jim, I'm sorry to disturb you, dear, but I've got some great news for you. Your dad and mother are in town. Yes, they are. Came in unexpectedly this morning. Your dad's on his way up to the house now. He'll be here any minute. Isn't it grand? They may go back tonight, but they'll be here for dinner. There's the front doorbell. That's probably dad now. Hurry home tonight, won't you, dear? Goodbye. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Not half as glad as I am to see you. How are you? Just fine. Here, let me take your things. Oh, just leave them on the chair. Did I surprise you? You certainly did. What are you two doing up in this part of the country? Oh, well, I had to come up on business. I thought I'd drop in and pay you and Jim to visit. Am I welcome? You bet you are. <laughs> this is a real treat. How that fine baby granddaughter of mine. Oh, just splendid. I was quite worried for a time, you know. Her food didn't seem to agree with her at all. But when I called in our family doctor, and he recommended Horlick's malted milk. And from the very first feeding, the baby started the game. And our problem was solved. You did just the right thing, my dear. Do you know we've always felt that it's Horlick's that saved your husband's life when he was a baby? He'd been losing weight steadily, and finally was so thin, we feared we were going to lose him. Then our doctor recommended that we try a weak solution of Horlick's malted milk. Say, we were happy beyond words when we found that little boy began to perk up at once. It wasn't long then until we had a normal, healthy baby again. No wonder that I feel you're giving your little girl a good start in following her daddy's example. And, folks, there are thousands of families who have had similar experiences with Horlick's malted milk. Horlick's is a wonderfully nourishing infant food. And the easy digestibility of Horlick's makes it a food that delicate and tiny stomachs can easily handle. For youngsters, too, Horlicks is a great food drink. It will help your children to develop sturdy, healthy bodies, sound bones, and good teeth. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good health. We'll be with you all again Monday night at this same time.